With me now, New York's esteemed Congressman Jerry Nadler. Congressman, good to see you. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. It's good to be here. You know, um, here's what I worry about, Congressman, and maybe I'll lay me on my fears. Uh, I'm not sure uh, we could say that, that, that stimulus is working. So recommending that we do more of it is, is at best dicey, don't you think? No, I don't. I think it's stimulus is the only thing that is working, and I think that Ben Stein was correct when he pointed out uh, that the administration is being rather optimistic, that the economic numbers are very weak. Now, they're, uh, they're completely different than when the Obama administration came into office. A year and a half ago, when the administration came into office, we were losing 770,000 jobs a month. We, we turned that around mostly through the stimulus bill, and now we're gaining about 250,000 jobs a month, which is too small, but a heck of a lot better than losing 770,000. No, a lot of those 000. are census jobs. Now, well, 40, yes, no, 200,000 of those in one month are census jobs, but so what? They're jobs. The only problem well, well, with that is that they'll end soon. The only problem with that is that they'll end soon. Congressman, I mean, those well, are temporary but jobs. The, but the real, yes, they are temporary jobs, and the point is that we need more stimulus to replace them. We have learned economically that when, let's put it this way, the, the basic recession or depression that we're in now was caused by the housing bubble that burst, by Wall Street's irresponsible behavior, by the lack of uh, proper regulation over the years of Wall Street, and this caused a loss of about $8 trillion in purchasing power by people who lost their homes and then lost their jobs and so forth. Now, with consumer spending very weak, uh, the, the, the money to buy things in order so that people can be paid to make them and sell them and market them and everything else we do has to come from somewhere. When the, normally you'd say reduce the interest rates, let the Fed reduce the interest rates and people right. will borrow more and they use it for their distance. But when the interest rates are essentially at zero as they have been for the last year, you can't do that. And the only thing that can get us out of that kind of a, de, of a recession or depression which is caused by complete lack of demand is government spending and creating the demand. Well, I, mean, I guess this is where you and I might, might, might have just a basic philosophical difference, sir, and, and I respect your not opinion. Philosophy, all, it's but, pure economics. But, well, it's actually, pure economics. No, no, there is it, no it is. Other I mean, place you mentioned pure economics, and you lose sight of the fact we have pure economic cycles, too, right? Uh, recessions generally end after 18 months. And, and yeah, maybe what this, what is, made, this uh, is not a normal, right, this is well, not a normal recession. Everything is different, right? But I'm just no, telling there, you, Congressman, we have had no, no, two if you just hear me out on, believe me, I'll let you speak then maybe we just cycled out of this and we're crediting something you guys did by throwing you know hundreds of billions of dollars at a problem for an improvement that we would have seen just cycling out of it well you can always imagine what might have happened uh, but there's no evidence for that and the fact of the matter is this is not a normal well, there's recession. no evidence to recession. say what you're saying is right oh on the contrary we know we know that the government spending created jobs. You may say that their government jobs uh, or that their government paid for jobs and therefore they're not as good as if the private market had created it by itself, but we know that a number of teachers were hired and not fired. We know that cops were hired and not fired. We know that people were put to work on, on construction jobs because the government paid for that. I mean, these things we know. But that's back Most, to the, I, you know, saved versus created job thing. And Congressman, you're too smart to buy that. No, I'm not too smart to buy that. I buy it absolutely. No, no, other, no a, other administration has ever used that kind of math. I've been doing this for a long time, Congressman, and it's just well, number, of jobs had, gain, number of jobs gained, number of jobs gained, not created had, or saved. I could tell well, you that I could create or save a bunch of pounds lost, and it's, 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 a, to, it's but, a ridiculous argument. But, you ha but you ha it's not a ridiculous argument. You have to look at the evidence. And as I started saying, this is not a normal recession. A normal recession is a cyclical dip in the business cycle. This is the first true depression we've had since 1929, when there was a uh, uh, when we have had both then and now a simultaneous uh, 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 demand crunch, where there was no money in society to buy the things, and a credit crunch. And when you get into that situation, the only way you get out of it is by stimulating the economy through government. And if we are you worried, though, Congressman, now, that, that we're digging deep in this spending? That maybe the better part of valor now is just to put the shovel down. No, if we put the shovel down, we'll, create, we'll be doing the same mistake that Roosevelt did in 1937. We thought he'd done oh. enough on the Depression, and he tried to balance the budget. It's a and huge we had gamble, recession. Congress. It's a huge gamble, and you've got a lot it's of people paying the really, bill. It's, it's not really that huge a gamble, because uh, the yeah, difference... The di I'll tell you why it's not such a huge gamble. The difference is, in terms of debt service and the money that you're doing for our current deficit, is about one-tenth of one percent of GDP. That is worth getting us out of the recession. And that's the only way we're going to get out, and we should do some more stimulus for another probably year, and then we should start worrying about reducing the deficit, mostly by growing our way out of it, as President Reagan said. You can grow your way out of this. 
Well, you can if you get the economy working again. All right. Well, we'll see. Congressman, pleasure. Have a good weekend. You too.